Smart contracts are given authority. And that authority is to take ownership of your currency. And then they can update where that currency resides. They can make payouts from that currency from different wallets. Mm -hmm. It's very different. It, it, is, it, is, it is almost escrow-like in a way that you're trusting a smart contract that's separate and it's off chain. It is not on chain. It has to be, of course, um, compiled and then it can be deployed, which means you can then run it on the Ethereum virtual machine, but it isn't on the blockchain all the time unless you're committing some transaction that is chain state changing. Um, that's really technical, but that means that it's, it's not just reading data, but it's actually changing data, some history and some amount or some ownership on chain. You're, we're, you're giving up some of your authority when you do that. So this falls under trust minimized, maybe? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Yes, um, I think it does. Um, so I think what you described in the beginning still kind of described a little bit uh, the side chains, right? Because you definitely send your found on it. However, the mm -hmm. difference is not controlled by a small group of people. It is a blockchain that is secured by its own set of validators. Yep. And, and so obviously it is a completely different model than having a few people having control and having the arbitrary decision to push something that nobody else can reject, right? It's a very different model. Another thing that I think is not well understood is that when you go on those DeFi platforms, it's not one smart contract. It is dozens of smart contracts. That thing is extremely complex and it's very easy to have problems into it, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, it is, and that's also why you end up with tons of fees because when you're trying to do one thing, the smart contract actually has different, like several smart contracts that are deployed and interacting with each other. And for each contract, you will have to pay because each one is a set of instructions. So you will need to pay for all that. And all of that includes uh, attack vectors, uh, weakness, centralized point. And, and obviously that's exactly what we want to get rid of with the sidechains. Yeah.